let's get you up here. This is Notebook U, Russ Russell. And we are from Fort Worth, so thank you, Dallas, for extending uh, the gratitude. But uh, just to get started, so as college students ourselves, we recognize the need for a platform that college students could use as an integrated solution to facilitate connections in amongst a given class. Now, we also recognize that most students, they only connect and communicate with classmates that are either acquaintances or in their immediate peer group. We saw this as an opportunity to not only promote collaboration amongst a class and its given students, but to also connect students that might never meet or even know each other's name. My name is Russ Russell. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Notebook U. Now, we are Startup Weekend kids. Uh, we came out of Startup Weekend, and when we looked at this, we saw three problems in this situation. The first was a lack of classroom community. I go to TCU, and I'm a senior. And in my marketing and entrepreneurial management classes, those classes are no bigger than 35 students. And I feel safe, I feel comfortable, and I feel like I have a community that I can always lean on. But if I take a class outside of the business school, and even though those classes are only 35 students, I don't know anybody. I feel lost. I don't feel that same comfort that I do inside the classroom in, on my other classes. I can only imagine, and I've talked to friends at other universities, in sitting in a class in an auditorium three times, five times this size with five or six hundred students and not knowing anybody and just seeing faces every day. The second was college students juggle way too many platforms, whether that be Google Drive, plus Group Me, plus Group Text, Facebook, Group Me, everything you can imagine. Juggling that many platforms is just too big of a hassle. And the third was finding quality notes fast. There's a lot of different note websites out there, but what they always focus on, quantity over quality. We call that note dumping. They're very unorganized, and they're just out there for the numbers. Now, to fix that problem, we came up with an integrated solution. Notebook U is a web-based platform that connects college students with their classmates by providing them with a student-only class page where they can ask questions, share notes, and they have the ability to create groups so they can better manage and communicate on projects. By creating this, with these student-only class pages, we create a classroom community without the eyes of the professor and allow students to connect and manage projects like never before. The fastest way to say this is Notebook U is Blackboard meets Facebook. Now, all of you may not know about Blackboard, but Blackboard is the largest, uh, <coughs> is the largest collaboration platform in the ed tech space with over 75 universities and colleges across the country using it. Now, they provide this for their students and their professors. Now, the problem with Blackboard is that it is monitored by the professor, and that hinders collaboration because college students don't really like to discuss or do anything because of that fear of cheating, even though every single day our professors tell us to study together and share notes. We feel that by taking a lot of the similar tools of Blackboard and adding some extra tools of our own that we can promote that collaboration the same way that it's intended to. Now, a product walkthrough. Students will register with their .edu, which we will recognize what school they go to and push them to their school's platform. Now, on the back end, <coughs> we are populating our databases with that school's class, classes all the way down to the section. After a simple three-step class search, they will fill their class schedule in, <coughs> select major, minor, select their class schedules, and they will be prompted to this dashboard. Now, in the middle, you see their major wall. I'm a double major at TCU, and so I would have two tabs. This connects no matter freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, anybody in your major, which allows you to ask cl class recommendations, professor recommendations, and you know, God forbid, vent about the department a little bit. Now, you can access these class pages, th and this is a class page. So we put everybody where they need to be. There's no creating a class or inviting your friends. We take care of all that for the user. So you see that similar news feed. It is, you can upload any document from your computer, but we're also integrated with G Drive to allow for the cloud storage and the system that most college students are to use themselves. Now, after a student uploads a document, they're on the left-hand side of the screen, organized in files however the students want to do that. This makes it very easily accessible to anyone in the class, no matter if you know their name or not. Now, getting to that know the name part. To build that classroom community, on the right-hand side of the screen, you have the class roster. And with those big pictures, you can finally put a name to the face that you see in class every day. Now, students have the ability to create groups simply from these class rosters. 
Now these groups are very similar to class pages. They can provide that community, but just in a smaller setting. Now this could be a group project that you're working on, or maybe just those four or five people that you'd like to study together exclusively. Now the main difference between a class page and a group page is the task manager. This allows students to easily delegate and manage tasks for their given project. Now, there are over 24 million college students in the United States, and that number continues to grow every year. This is a brief projection of user growth, and we believe, the conservative believe, we can obtain around 56,000 students by the end of 2016, over a million and a half by 2019, and upwards of four million by the end of 2020. Our team consists of me, my co-founder, uh, me and my co-founder Colton Pittman. We are both seniors at TCU. I'm an entrepreneurial management and marketing double major, and he is a strategic communications major. To in help ensure the success of this venture, we have sought out and secured an advisory board with over 75 years of startup and new venture development experience. They have launched and invested in multiple and advised multiple startups to great success and exits. Now, of course, the money. While we do want to build a community, we do realize in the future that we can monetize the site by taking all of that organized class documents that are already organized specific to the class and the professor and specifically in those folders and archive the top rated notes at the end of the semester back. Now in previous sem next semesters, students can enroll in their classes, pay a subscription fee for the whole semester, none of that month to month stuff, or for the full year and any classes that they are in, they can look back and, uh, and uh, excuse me, look back and obtain any of those documents that were created by their peers the year before and managed and reviewed by their peers. Now Future, we believe we can partner with a startup that is currently out of Arkansas that has already kind of collected all these graduate documents because the graduate entrance ex exams are crazy and people are always asking back their friends that have already taken the exam. By offering these access to these things for approximately nine months for a subscription fee, we believe. And also, we do understand that aggregating this one consumer demographic so specifically that we will have powerful data if we need it. Guys, the, note, the vision and mission for Notebook U is to provide and create a community in every classroom at every university that increases connection, promotes collaboration, and provides a value to the user beyond academics. Thank you. All right, questions? Hi, thanks for your pitch, great. Um, can you go over the revenue model again? I think that's where you lost me. Yes, ma'am, it's kind of okay. quick, um, but just to do it quickly. So our users generate our documents, um, and then they organize them through the folders in each specific class page, and that's specific to that professor and that class at that university. Um, and you can't see it here, but they're going to do an upvote downvoting system and manage and review. College students love to upvote, I know that. Um, and so they manage and review that content. And at the end of the semester, a class stays active for a week and then goes away and you create your new class schedule. But we take all of those already documents that are organized and rated and archive them back. And then in the future semesters, students pay a subscription fee for the classes that they're in and they can look back at the previous semester's uh, documents. It, it's a premium service. It's a fr freemium service. The platform is free to use, but if they want to access all those documents from the previous semesters, that's when they pay the subscription fee. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So, what's the status of your development? Um, currently, we have the entire platform built. Um, we are we have about a little over 450 pre-registered users at TCU, um, and we are set to launch the beta as soon as we uh, finish a little couple problems with uh, email verification. Okay. I see you. What stops someone like Chegg, who already dominates the market, from simply building that interface and taking over your product? I mean, that is absolutely understandable. Um, and we're not the only competitor in the space. There are some co very comparable people, um, yet we, are, uh, we have a com couple competitive advantages that nobody has used yet. Um, but I, Chegg can absolutely do that. But Considering there are other competitors very similar in the market with just distinct differences, um, Czech has not done that yet. And the, most of those have been out for five to six years. Just a quick question on the pricing. Have you tested this pricing in any way? 
Uh, we've done uh, just it, the, the great thing about being a college student and building something for college students, um, no matter whether it's design or anything else, uh, we get to get constant feedback from our, our user base. Uh, we've done j market research such as surveys and different things of like this. Um, comparable products such as Course Hero and things of like that are upwards of $29 or $39 a month, and that's why we also want to go for that semester. Um, so we are a very, very low compared to the rest of the market. Well, the entire site is free. It's a freemium service. Um, I mean, you do have to have a .edu to use it, um, so they can use that, but to access their uh, archives, they do have to pay. Have you checked to see if Bernie Sanders would pay for this? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it'll be free. Hey, so I, I think I'm a little confused, but I've been out of school for a few years, just a couple. Um, so are, are people basically buying, I mean, they're paying to get access to notes, or do they um, have to contribute to, to get access? So the, uh, like platforms in the note, specifically I would say the note marketplace space, are there are quite a few, um, some are acquiring each other's. Um, so a lot of those use either auctioning type models or um, like a compensatory model, which we definitely understand uh, to incentive, a lot of questions is incentivizing the notes. Um, one, especially off of the research that we've done, uh, reciprocation is a powerful tool. Um, people do actually want to help people because they feel like they'll get the help in return. Um, but we are going to gamify that model um, to, to help incentivize that. But we do understand that we can, um, in the long run, if we needed to increase engagement, we could absolutely put a compensatory model um, in, in uh, technically paying kids to put their notes up based off of downloads. Uh, but the note marketplace, as they call it, platform, um, are, are widely used. And that's time. Thank you.